Hi, welcome to Yukneek Spirits. So I was drawn to do a reading, and I did a reading, and then I was drawn to do a, to do fishing, and then I was drawn to do another reading. And so I just finished that one, and that one was about the Divine Feminine. So there was a Divine, so Empress came out. And the story was about her. No joke. So, if something is coming towards you, this is your story. I feel... So, this, that was your story. Sorry. I'm in the process right now. So, right now, I'm going to do one for the Divine Masculine and see where that energy is because I think we just tapped into the divine feminine energy so I wanted to see what's up with them so it looks like their heart chakra is open and it looks like a relationship is what they're looking for that's what they're going for so we might be having Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines getting together today. They are very passionate when they come in. Page of Wands. It might be a message, very passionate message. It could actually be a sexual message, so watch out for that. But, you know, if that's how you guys talk, you know. Like, do you. I, I'm game for that, you know. Ace of Cups, but there is going to be an offer of love. So, it's an ace. It's a new beginning. They may want to start something new with you. I don't know why. Because I'm talking about the Divine Masculine. So, I don't know why I was talking as if I was talking to Feminines. So, let's... <laughs> Let's, let's change the way this goes. I don't know why I did that. So, this masculine has wished upon a star about what he is about to do. I think he has a passionate message that he's going to be giving about a love offer or something that he loves. This is the energy of the masculine. He manifested this. So you guys, the masculines manifested this change. Manifested this. It's a choice in love. I, I, this has to do with love. Like, I, I can't, can't change the story. I mean, unless you really love what you do, you know? So he sees this feminine as a queen of pentacles. So very abundant, very self serving, like, can do her own shit, doesn't need anyone. Uh-oh. But I think someone walked out on someone. I think there's a past here. This could have been a long time ago. This could have been a long time coming. I'm floating downhill without a paddle, so <laughs> that's not cool. I have to redirect myself. Excuse for the like constant shifting. But I gotta get my footing. King of Swords. He's being honest. He's full of love and he's full of honesty. So. I'm sorry, but any guy that comes at me like that, amazing. You know, like, you can't get better than that. Really, in my opinion, I could give a fuck if they're pinnacle up, but... They got love, and they got truth, and honesty. That's, that's important. There is conflict here, though. At least he sees conflict. The masculine sees conflict. I think with the feminine. Maybe due to the past. I mean, that five of swords, I felt like like there was a past here. Not just a past life. Like a past in this. And I'm not talking an ex. Not necessarily. 
You guys might have never dated. This could just be a friend. This could just be a family member. This could just be anyone. But I think you find out. But this has to do with love. I do feel that. But you can love a family member too. Soulmate. Oh, communication. Fast moving. Energy. Things are happening. Oh, sorry. Things are starting to happen. But it's all justice. This is what levels the skills. Look, we've got a match pair, the queen and the king of cups here. It's reciprocal. The feminine, it feels the same. I feel like... The feminine has at one point seen emotional contentment, but doesn't realize that there can still be emotional contentment there. Because the Ten of Cups came out backwards, but I wanted to flip it, and I flipped it. But I feel the energy, like, it's there. The contentment's there, but she might not feel it quite there. I don't know how to explain that. I feel like someone in the past was not in the best, this masculine was probably not in the best energy. Which is why the Ten of Cups upside down wanted to come out. But he's abundant now. God, we've got almost all four kings, which makes the emperor. Like, this masculine has, like, passed all his tests. No joke. Like, almost. King of Wands. He has to get control of his sexual energy. That's the only one left. Because we still got just a page here when it comes to a wand. But balance. They want balance. Masculine's looking for balance in a relationship and a Ten of Cups situation. Oh, look, there's a plane. I love looking at the planes and then sending them love. Right? I sometimes I'll wish for them to have something. <laughs> Death. Transformation. So this masculine wants to transform the situation with this feminine. He wants to end the burdens. Holy fuck. And at the end, he got the king of wands. He got control of his sexual energy. Right here, we have the emperor. Even without the emperor card, we've got the emperor. I think he becomes emperor when he comes to this feminine. Like, that is his last test. I feel like this masculine is not very abundant right now. He might be having money problems. And he doesn't feel stable. But he knows how to deal with his money. It's just like a rough patch for him right now. He might be communicating this with you. It might be what's stopping it, too. There might be some form of, um... I keep talking like I'm talking to feminines. I'm just going to go with it. Or... Uh, another Ten of Cups. This masculine is emotionally content with this feminine. Like, Ten of Cups twice. The feminine had it three times. Like, you guys are, like, marrying each other. You've had to use your intuition on this. It hasn't been easy. The masculine got left out in the cold as well. Or at least he felt left out in the cold. Maybe by the feminine, maybe by someone else. Maybe that was his test, maybe that was his lesson. See this one 
talk to me differently. There could have been another person. This masculine could have had three people. He was seeing what, what he didn't have. He was focusing on... He was putting something on a pedestal. But he had like beautiful flourishing cups here. But he only looked at one. But the karmic wheel. <laughs> so the wheel was in one of the readings I did today. Which means the karmic wheel is done. Like today's judgment day is what I fucking put for the Empress. Transformation. Again, it's a decision to be made. It has to be made right. There could be a Libra, Cancer, involved. It's like starting to get windy. Like around one, it always gets windy around here. This is like a great morning spot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we got the sun. These poor cards have been through the shit. The sun, happiest card in the deck. He sees happiness with his feminine. We'll just do one card at a time. <clears throat> we got the world again. This is the day. This is the day where burdens are laid down, which fulfillment is given, and options are surrendered. And then look, Ace of Cups. Whatever's coming to you today, you see clearly, you see clearly something today and it's something you love. I think the masculine finally sees something. He sees what his heart has been trying to tell him. Whatever that might be, it might be work, it might be love, it might be it's something he worked on. Something he's seen the details of. He 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 didn't just jump into this. He's he's looked hard at this. Whatever it is. Again, detail. He's looking at all the details. There's been a lot of options. A lot of different options. It took some time to really figure out what it is that he loved. Been trapped in his own head. <laughs> Happens. Again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the action now is fast moving. Today, something's happening, guys. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so for some of you, take it as it resonates. Today has been a beautiful day for me. Nothing crazy has happened to me, so I'm just passing the message along. This is for somebody, I don't know who. Alright? Happy Judgment Day.